Hello, it's Jason Payne from Cole Banker, Dean Hopper Realtors. Well, I have an out-of-state client who's getting a home built by Ash and Woods, the Trinity model, and they're getting one built on the other side of town, so, but they want to see what one looks like almost completed. So, I'm out at CeeLo Ranch in Bertie, Texas, videoing a house that's almost complete. Let's go check it out. It is a beautiful day in Texas, a little breezy, so I'm hoping you're able to pick me up on the, my microphone here. But Celo Ranch is located just south of Bernie, right off I-10. And this community has Ashton Woods, Pulte, and Syntex all in this community. But the big thing about it, it is close to uh, just south of Bernie, and Bernie is amazing. All right, let's go check out this Trinity model built by Ashton Woods. All right, they already have their door up, so that means this home is really close to being completed. I'm curious to see what it looks like myself. I see they have some touch-up work to do on the wall in the formal dining room right up front. And you can see they got some stairs going right up there. And you're gonna have an office right up front of the house too. Got some nice tall windows. Good size office here. And some tall, tall ceilings. I love the tall ceilings. Looks like we can put something right there. All right, we got a powder room coming in right up front. Well, they don't quite have the kitchen finished, but look at this living area. Whoa, I'm a little closer. I can see all the way up. That is up there. Got your dining, your breakfast nook. And this is going to be a little bit of a unique shaped uh, island here. You got your regular kitchen, your sink area right here. And then your island can be kind of a, a curved island coming out. Kind of neat. Looks like they're going to do a double built-in. Microwave there and then two ovens in this location. So that can be the Vina hood. Yeah. And of course, the refrigerator right there. A little step back look at what the kitchen looks like. We do have some can light above it. Looks like they've got four canned lights and they I know there's an option to put pendant lights coming down here, but they did not do that. They have the four can lights right there. Let's look up. They've got the wrought iron post going in there. And the tray ceiling into the breakfast nook. Kind of neat. Well, while I'm here, let's go check out the back porch area. We do have a covered porch. And of course a yipping little dog. You see they have not put the sod in for the backyard but this gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. In this house, this is not the house my clients are buying. My house is buying, my clients are looking at a house in Arcadia Ridge, but like I said in my intro, um, they didn't have one to film. So I did a little driving.
here's a space where you can have either a pass through or a little butler's pantry right here. They've got it as a pass through. Nice space up here for the, the lock area. So tray ceilings. All right, looks like we've got three bedrooms upstairs. This one's going to have its own bathroom. This can be the full bathroom. Let's see if I can get some lights on. And I can. Your standard tub. These are pretty good sized bedrooms up here too. And a little mini walk-in closet. I see this owner of this house but with the base model builder grade lights in there so they could put their own ceiling fans in which is a tip I always tell every buyer if you're buying new construction don't pay extra to get ceiling fans put in all the bedrooms because the builders will have their upcharge that goes along with it and it's just cheaper and, you, and they're really easy to hang but it's you can actually save money just by going to Lowe's picking out ceiling fans and if you're not Comfortable pulling them up, just hire someone else to do it. And you're still gonna save a couple hundred bucks. All right, this room does have the pass through to the attic. And this gives you good uh, viewing of just what Ashton Woods, they put a lot of foam in there, or the spray foam in there. Well, not really spray foam, that fluffy insulation. And then you got a little radiant barrier up on the roof. the standard size doors in here versus the eight foot. But this area is just super cool. Little view from the top. All right, let me pause the camera and let me go downstairs and check out the owner suite. All right, there we go. I don't know if you've seen my videos, I just never filmed myself going downstairs. That just seems kind of clunky. Bad enough you have to watch me go upstairs. But you have a nice little, what I call the Harry Potter closet underneath the stairs there. Three good sized windows in the owner suite. There's your tub. I know my client's hoping that she can sweet talk. I'm gonna put in a freestanding tub in there, but I don't think that's going to work out very well. Interesting little space right here. Put in the mirrors there. And I got a little small vanity right there. shower that's going to be going in. They chose not to do the inset shower. They just wanted the shower pan. And we've got two separate closets. 
Let's see which one's gonna be a his and hers. This is the his. And I'm not being sexist, it's just a known fact. Women have more clothes. So they get the bigger closets with the shoe rack and they've got the wire mesh versus the upgraded wood in here. Because there's an option, instead of the wire, you can get the actual wooden boards. And that's going to be, I'm betting they're going to wish they put the rain glass in this bay window here instead of just this. Or hang curtains, I don't know. But that would have been a, at the design center or structure when they're planning it. That's where you put the rain glass. Unless, well, maybe this family's really confident in themselves and they just don't care. Well, I hope you enjoy the tour of this Trinity model built by Ashton Woods. If you've got any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, my contact information will be on the final screen. And if you're thinking about moving this area and you don't already have a realtor picked out, shoot me a text. I'll be happy to help you, either myself or my soon-to-be partner. More information to come about my new partner really soon. I'll talk to you soon. And uh, as always, like and share these videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.